All right, I hope you guys all been doing well. I got an absolute gorgeous day here for a ride. And uh, I think spring's here to stick around this time for sure. Let's see. Let's put my phone up here. All right, I hope you guys found that. Uh, had a couple people looking for this case. I left you the link, for, or not for the case, for the uh, phone holder. I left the link for it in the, in the, uh, to my other video where I actually reviewed this. All right. So it holds it perfectly. Holds a big phone, too. All right, guys. Let's do this. All right, how much gas? I got a half a tank. Gorgeous day, wow. Garage door closed, here we go. It's such a nice day that uh, I've got some extra stuff I need to do today. I got a, I think I'm gonna put the snow blower officially away in the garage. And I went and got a bunch of topsoil for our garden. And I'm gonna spread that today too I think I got 10 bags so 400 pounds of topsoil getting added to my put that down so it's not a little less windy here but 400 pounds of topsoil getting added to my garden this nice old guy out he's uh, always out for a walk how's everybody doing bet uh, you're all doing well enjoying the weather coming back a little bit at least all of all of you uh, south of the Canada US border Josie's probably still toughing out her snow but uh, I think a lot of us are starting to get some pretty good weather it looked like on the on the news on the weather that I saw last night even got people out doing putting out some flowers and plants my wife jumped the gun as she always does and put out her basil and oh a couple other things and we had a couple of uh, days were close to freezing this week at night so she's been covering those up with uh, some buckets So what's everybody been up to? Hope you guys are doing great. I've been hitting the workout pretty hard and trying to stay in shape. I need to eat a lot better. Haven't been feeling uh, too great. I've been having uh, a little minor tightness here and there in my chest and probably the hardening of some artery or something like that. Hopefully, Hopefully I can get it reversed with uh, oh some supplements and proper diet. Let's see, I'm gonna go someplace I haven't gone for a long time today. A couple highways down this direction, I'm gonna go take it. But uh, yeah, I've been trying to stick to my supplements. I went non-dairy this last, oh, about two weeks. Been having some issues with dairy products. And it seems to help to not have them, so. I miss real cream in my coffee, though. But I like black coffee, too, so I can live with it. Yeah, I haven't been feeling that great. Been having just a really minor, minor chest pain. It just feels like a little bit of a pressure. I took my blood pressure this morning. I've got my own cuff and it uh, it's, was a little high. So I took, I took it before I worked out and after my workout, my blood pressure was right in line with where it's supposed to be. But before my workout, it was a little high so 
high blood pressure runs in my family, so I've got to keep an eye on that. But other than that, I am doing awesome. I've had a couple of attitude adjustments in my, you know, oh, just dealing with my, you know, chest issues and, you know, my any health issues my wife might have and that, that kind of stuff. I just decided, you know what, you got to be happy one way or the other. You just got to enjoy the time while you got it. You can't wait for everything to be better. And, and you know, and then say, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy when I, you know, when I'm all better. That, that's not going to work. There's no guarantees in that, so. I'm just going to be happy, enjoy my family, and enjoy my Vespa while I'm able to do it. Because there's no guarantees that, you know, anything will ever get 100% better. So I'm just going to keep at it. We had uh, the time change uh, yesterday morning, early, you know, and we actually missed it. We actually forgot about the time change. It's the first time uh, I ever remember missing it. So that was funny. Spring forward, so we missed, uh, <laughs> we woke up an hour later than we thought. Lost an hour. That's the first time I've ever done that. Forgot that it was uh, daylight savings. Pretty good wind blowing there today. Now I'm side wind, but yeah, heading back into that wind, that's pretty, blowing pretty good. All right, this is 435 over here. 435 West, that goes to uh, Platte City that way and uh, the airport. And then that way there goes to uh, Liberty and then swings back south. Down to southern parts of Kansas City. That, that highway right there loops all the way around Kansas City. It's a big circle. So it goes all four directions at one point or another. I wore a little lighter jacket today since it was going to be so warm. I didn't wear my leather or didn't even wear my bell staff. I wore my, uh, let's see, Halvarsen's Lisvik today. This is a pretty lightweight vented jacket. I've got all the vents closed, but it's, it's nice and lightweight. I like it. It's probably my second lightest weight jacket. I've also got one for summertime, but that's for when it, you know, gets closer to, you know, 80, 90, 100. I'll, I'll be wearing that thing. It really flows a lot of air. I got a little pond there. Got a lot of land. Is this gravel? Uh, no, that is uh, that is black top. All right. But yeah, I hope uh, those of you that were asking about my phone holder there, I uh, I'll put it, make sure there's a link down in the in the top of the video notes today for this home phone holder. It is really solid and it's really adjustable. It's uh, all uh, CNC'd out of uh, aluminum, so it's very solid. You'll you'll be impressed. I when I got it for my Vespa, I didn't want to put a, you know, my Vespa is really nice, and I was like, you know, I can't be putting a, a little plastic, you know, cheap looking phone holder on there. I wanted it to look classy, so I went with this thing. It's pretty good. Speaking of, I got a new phone. Uh, got, 
I got a couple of YouTube notifications there. But uh, got a new phone, got the new uh, S24 Ultra. It was about, we had the 22 Ultra before this, and I've always went with the Note series, so I went with the same thing, just in a newer one. My old one was battery, was drained, was getting a little low, and a little fast. But uh, yeah, that thing is, the new one's awesome. Glad that finally came out. I've never, I don't think I've been down this uh, road before. I saw that it was out here. I was looking on Google Maps earlier for a place to go. And uh, this is kind of on my way to work, but it, I don't take this road ever. Let's see, I'm gonna let this guy do his thing before I rush up there. There we go. Oh, thought he was done. Is he going? There he goes. All right. Yeah, I've got, I've never been over here. 435, there's another entrance to that. I didn't even know that. Okay, Skyview, yeah. I have taken this road. Let's see, that one goes 435 and Skyview. Let's, let's take this. I know a little bit where this goes. But I hope everybody's been doing good. Everybody that's got a scooter, get out on it. Everybody out on their motorcycles. I know Bugs loving his new motorcycle too and his Vespa. Cheers to you guys. And uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Peter. He's a new subscriber. He's, uh, we have the same taste in uh, clothing. He's got, <laughs> it was funny. He, he uh, messaged me on one of my other videos, left me a comment that we were the same size in jacket and pants. <laughs> and we bought the same ones, so that's crazy. Peter, cheers. Glad to have you as a new subscriber. That wind is howling. But uh, Peter and I are both from the States, and we both buy our clothing over in the UK. So there's some fabulous shops over in the UK that we keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> we keep those a secret, you know. We can't be can't be having everybody buying these uh, same same clothing that we got. Oh, just joking. But it's good to have you, Peter. Wow, a little more wind today than I was expecting. Oh, I know. I get almost no wind and noise in my helmet. I was I'm always surprised that I can still hear my voice so well. I get wind noise in my ears, but it sure doesn't get much to my microphone. Uh, getting ready to plant something here. I don't think that goes through. I have some family that lives over here. I have some family that lives right here, right there. Howdy, howdy. Tiffany Greens. They've got a nice little golf course over here. Used to host a bunch of uh, the, there was a, P, a senior PGA tournament on this thing. So I'm sure you can imagine they've got a little bit of a nice, nice properties on that thing. Yeah, Tiffany.
Tiffany Greens. Let's flip it around here. Now, oh hey, there's the golf course. Let's let's check that out instead. Yeah, there's one of the holes. There's a hole. Yeah, there's one over there too. Yeah, right there. Yeah, they don't. Everything's still dormant. Cart pass only, isn't that something? Park those carts so far from their ball and they gotta walk to it. That's why I don't ride in the cart. Let's see where this goes. I don't even know where this comes out up here. Yeah, they have a senior PGA event. I'm not sure they do anymore. I don't keep up with golf like I used to, but they used to have a senior PGA Tour event on Tiffany Greens here in Kansas City. And that's part of it. Go ahead and keep it going around. I'm gonna head back the same direction and see if 108 goes through over there. That's a nice house. Uh, yeah. There's a garage. Oh, there we are. Four car garage, yeah. Yeah, almost everybody knows where Tiffany Greens is. And that goes from 101 to 108. Sky view. So leave me a comment. What have you guys been up to? Hope you all are healthy and doing good. It's almost getting to prime riding weather again here. It's almost warm enough to where I can open up my vents on my jacket here. Yeah, I could probably do that next time out if it's any warmer than 62. I could let a little more air in. All right, what do we got here? 105, 105th Street. people out enjoying this nice weather. If it weren't for the wind, I could ride with my visor up and that would be nice, but the wind, it'll be too loud on the microphone, I think. All right, 108th Street. I don't know if this goes through or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see where it goes. Oh, that's a cool little, look at that little forest here. <laughs> Here's more golf course right here. I didn't even know it went down this road. I knew it went this far uh, to the to the uh, north, but I didn't know you could see it from this road. And yeah, right through there, sweet. Tiffany Lakes. Okay. go home I'm gonna do my yard work get that out of the way so my wife will love me again you know get that garden ready to go so she can get her get her vegetables planted her hot peppers will be here in a week couple weeks it's too it's still too chilly for those at night I haven't put my uh, plant potted plants back out yet because it's still getting a little bit chilly at night 
I've got a couple of hibiscus that bloom like crazy, but they, they need a little warmer weather. Green Hills, okay, I, okay, I know where that goes. Green Hills, I got another family member that lives on there, on that road. Let's see, we got we got yard work today. My snow blowers put away. I did that this morning already. I don't think I'm gonna need it again. I only used it once this year and and it was enough snow to where I and I got it a little bit late. It was already kind of frozen to the pavement, so we had ice and then snow, and it was hard to get through that ice with the snow blower. So it just left a, a layer of ice all over the drive. That wasn't ideal. Do those today. I already hit the gym. Sending back my old phone back to Samsung. Send that back for its trade-in. by himself over here. Wow. Maybe this goes through. I start seeing a bunch of traffic circles. I know I'm home. That's that's how it is in my area. They can't get enough traffic circles. We used to have a nice fast road over here that you could take to the highway and they put about four traffic circles on it now. And they're not a, not one of them is like a normal, I mean, I guess a couple of them are normal. They're circles, but a couple of them are shaped like an oval or a, a peanut is what they call it. I don't know, it, it's kind of silly. We didn't need, I, mean, I guess they're preparing for what, what's coming, but Ah, oh, they got their flagpole up. Come and take it, baby. That's what I say too, my friend. Come and take it. Come and take it with the US flag above it. Beautiful. Hey, I'm, this does go through to my area. Nice. Chiefs flag. Hey, the Chiefs re-signed Chris Jones. Yeah, baby. We got us a little cemetery here. I'm gonna tootle through here real quick. My wife's father is buried in here. He passed three years ago, almost. Now, uh, going on, I think it's two and a half, but yeah, he's buried over here. It's a beautiful little cemetery here. Nice people run it too. Yeah, he's buried over here. Oh, this section's almost full. First time I've ever drove through a cemetery. All right, my father-in-law's right down there. I'm not gonna go too close to it. Looks like they got a, looks like they got a funeral over here today. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm gone, I'm not gonna take up any ground. They can spread me wherever they want. I know I'll be gone, so I won't notice, but last thing I want to do is take up any ground when I'm gone. Leave it for the people that are still here. Oh, but we go visit my father-in-law's gravesite, you know, 
we still go over and visit and my wife takes him hot tea and McDonald's french fries <laughs> he loved McDonald's french fries he lived to be about 93 I think early 90s he fought in the Vietnam War of course they're from Vietnam and he was you know fighting for the south and when they lost and America pulled out he got thrown in a Vietnamese a North Vietnamese prison for quite a few years and then when he got out of there uh, they sought asylum over here in the United States so that's how my wife's family ended up over here loving their freedom they are strong lovers of freedom you, all it takes is a little communism to teach you real quick that what you what you what you're missing over there but they still go back and visit Vietnam they still got family members there and they still go visit a little bit over there it's a little different brand of communism over there you see guards walking around with machine guns and stuff but you don't really have to you know you, it's not like they're locked in like North Korea or they can still take some visitors and it's hard getting stuff through customs on I know that everybody wants a kickback to get uh, to get your bags through customs you got to give everybody you know 20 bucks or otherwise they're gonna hold they're gonna hold your bags ransom for who knows how long oh, just bribe them and go it's a different world my friends Here we go, we're almost home. I'm gonna wrap up this video before it gets too long. But uh, thanks for watching everybody. If you're new, please subscribe if you like uh, ride and chill videos. Out taking it easy on my Vespa. GTS 300 Super Sport in uh, I call it white bug calls it Invengento something or other Blanco I don't speak any foreign languages I'm kind of simpleton but uh, thanks for watching leave a like if you liked it and uh, a comment if you just want to say hi and I miss talking with y'all and uh, I'll uh, get back with you in the comments. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.